Good morning, or should I say afternoon? I'm in front of my old elementary school, Calvin Christian School in South Holland. I'm gonna talk to the kids about um, starting your business, brand development, um, focusing on different majors, and how you can start working on your business while in school or going to work full time, talking to the older kids, so sixth grade through eighth grade. So I'm excited to work with them, help them cultivate some ideas and get some brainstorming together. So very excited. I have not been back to Calvin since my eighth grade graduation. So <laughs> that just shows you how long it's been. I think I graduated in 2003, so here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> Bye, guys. So you're good at baseball, you're good at soccer, you're good at football, and basketball. Okay, so do you follow all those sports? Or are you patient and you're just good at teaching those? Or are you just good at playing? So if you're good at playing sports and you like sports, why not take some time and make a post about sports maybe once or twice a month? Especially now, like we have Colin Kaepernick and the NFL Draft, why don't you make something about that? I'm sure that's very interesting. Or we have LeBron James and Shaq, both of their kids are playing in the um, Olympic sports right now. That's pretty cool, the next generation. I think that's something that you would like. And other people would want to like, like it too. If you like sports, then I'm sure your friends like sports. So now I'm gonna challenge you to now think of what you would call your thoughts. What would you call it? Take some time to come back to me. Yes. I like dancing. Oh, it's like dancing. Okay, so if you like dancing, why not talk about the life of a student athlete, like a student dancer? or how you come up with routines, or how you teach your little siblings or cousins how to come up with stuff around um, Christmas or Thanksgiving, or when I was younger, they would make us dance. They'd be like, y'all go come up with something and come back to us. So why not come up with maybe three or four simple routines that are good to come up with when you're with cousins that you haven't seen in a while, and maybe not everybody can be a good dancer. And you come with those routines, and then you post them, then people can share them, or they can use them too. So if you like dancing, and I'm sure a lot of your other friends like dancing, so you too, you're gonna have to come back to me with the name of what you're gonna call your, you know, dancing videos, film, post thing that you're trying to come up with. Who's next? Yes. And the people look at it and they liked it? So you already know that there is a audience for what you like to do. So then if I were you, I would, again, come up with your name and then go to your mom and be like, Mom, people loved when we did our duet. Let's start there. Then you can come up with choreographs because I know you like to dance. And then you can also talk about and bring people through your STEM stuff, so your science, your math, because you said you want to do engineering or be a lawyer. So talk about that stuff too, like, hey, I'm a dancer, but I'm multi-talented, so now this is what I think about, you know, politics, or I'm gonna do a mini vote in my home with my mom and my dad and my siblings, and you guys can vote something and be, have like a mini election. That would be cool. And then you, afterwards you can do a dance. And that'll grow and grow and grow. And as you grow, then other people will find you. Now people that are into like pre-law programs, they'll find you. And when you apply, you're already doing it. So you're gonna get in. It makes it that much easier. So if you already write and you sing, why not record it and put you on YouTube? 
course, you gotta get your parents' permission, but like, why not record and put it on YouTube? Or why not record them and, you know, create like a area, either a website or a Facebook fan page? Because a lot of people to write about their day. I had a diary when I was your age. I would write about everything. But I didn't, we didn't have the internet to go and upload it so that other people could find me that were doing like-minded stuff. But why can't you be the next, you know, Justin Bieber or <laughs> someone else that started young or was it that's a Raven characters and stuff? Like, why can't you do that? You could. They all started, they had to get founded, right? You can't just find, you can't just become nothing from something. Everybody has a story, but we just don't see it until after they're already on the big screen. But if you're already a writer and you're already doing songs, why don't you put it out there so you can find people to relate to you? Next. Yes, what do you like? I think I should be in it. I'm really good at inventing things. Ooh. And I also go to a camp called Camp Invention. And then wow. things. Wow. So you're already like a kid scientist over here, mini Albert Einstein. Why don't you show people that? If you have inventions, that's really cool. And everybody's trying to have the next big thing. You're already working on it. And for you to be so young working on it, people care. People, in your, um, you know, you fit the bill. Why can't you be the inventor portion of kid president? We don't even have that. That's an open space. You can be the first person to do that, the first kid inventor that's going around showcasing his inventions. And you're a good writer, you're smart, take pictures of your inventions, show how you got there and how it made your life easier. That's all that inventions are. We're taking an idea and building it. So like Facebook, right? Facebook is just the 2.0 version of the Yellow Pages. Before, you had to go on the yellow pages, look up the last name, call the person, and then you could talk to them. Now, it's just like um, the yellow pages, only now I can type in a name and I can find someone. I can call their business, or I can call them. Does anybody else have an idea? What about the back row, y'all are kind of quiet. I'm looking at you with the hat. If he was in the room, or if you want to talk to him when you get back since you know him, I would say, hey, not everybody every day gets to go to 10th grade at 10 years old. You should broadcast that and do some interviews. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, what you, I'm going to go over this really quickly. It's basically a social media checklist. So this is just for you to hold on tight and then when you are ready to move forward, so after you consult with your parents and you have your brand name, then this is um, basically a little audit that I do when I have different clients. So what I do is I actually audit different businesses. So they'll come to me and they'll be like, Danielle, I need some help with um, my business. I need another eye. So what I'll do is I'll follow these steps and make sure that they have these, and these are proven tools so that they can grow. And what we'll do is we'll also make goals. So the first step is the cleanse. So when I have pictures, you wanna make sure that they are not low quality, they're not dark, they're not blurry. Um, you wanna look at how many average likes and dislikes that you have and make sure that you, the ones that don't have a lot of likes, you delete them. That means that the people didn't like it, and that's okay. But the ones that they did like, you look at them and you make sure that they um, 
were good and you keep them. So for instance, maybe they like pictures of you outside with your basketball, but maybe they don't like you inside playing with your toys. So then delete the ones that have the toys and do more photos that are outside. But you'll only know that once you put up maybe pictures for a month and then you go back and you look at them. So that's the easy one, Twitter. So you want to make sure that if you're on Twitter, that your Twitter consists of 70% brand. So if you're trying to do dancing or a lawyer or engineer or a scientist, that 70% of them have to do with what you're pushing. And 30% of them can be personal. Talk about your TV show or um, what your brother did or your sister did, any of that stuff. And then are you private? So if your, face, if your settings are private on Facebook or social media, how can someone find you? They can't. So you want to make sure that if you want to be found and you're going to push your brand, that it's not private. And then your bio. So your bio is a way that people can find out who you are really quickly. So for me, my focus is to create more black millionaires. So I focus mainly on black businesses, and I love marketing. I am a serial networker, which means I like to talk to everybody. I like to be friends with everybody. So that's what that means when you say serial no networker. Um, Melanin Business is my other brand. It's a, um, basically like a black business directory, but it's global, so we're in a few different countries. And then I put um, my Bible verse so people know that I'm Christian without me even having to say anything. So that's kind of how you can push in your um, religion with your brand. You don't have to hide it. It shouldn't be something that is separate. Um, it's, it can be all in one thing. Yes, question. Do you have a phone? Yeah. Does your phone have a camera? Yeah. Then you can start right now. So if I were you, I would start with maybe skits or short stuff, stuff that's only maybe three minutes long or yeah, three to five minutes long and you can figure that out. So do you have, what kind of, do you have a computer at home? Okay, so you have an HP, there's this tool called Movie Maker. So what you can do is you can record yourself on your phone, then you can connect your phone to your computer, and then you can download Movie Maker. It's a free um, app, so it's not already on your computer. You just Google it and you can download it. And then you can edit your videos. You can put sound underneath there. For free sound, you just need to go on YouTube and there's this um, little tab called Create, and you can download free music, and free like boings and drums and all types of stuff. Do you have something to write that down? You can write on the back of this. Do you have a pen? I know I just gave you a lot of information. You want to download Movie Maker, that's a free editing tool software. You can record your stuff on your phone, so that's free. And then for free sound, you want to go to YouTube and in your dashboard there's this thing called Creator Studio and you can download free sounds. And when you're done, I want you to email me so I can look at it in the first video. You got everything and you repeat something. Okay. Does anybody else have a question? Okay. So now this is for Instagram. Um, these are just some tools that are free for you to download. That am I too loud? What is? What are y'all doing? 
Oh, that's a sign for seven. My bad. Okay. <clears throat> so Instagram, these are just two tools when you're ready for Instagram. Um, Insta track and followers, and they just show who follows you and who doesn't follow you because that's a whole another brand when you get there, and people will follow you just so that you can follow them back, and then they'll unfollow you. So these two tools will keep track so that you don't have what is called ghost followers. Ghost followers are just people that follow you, but they don't like, they don't comment, they just, they don't do anything. See, it's a ghost follower. So that's your first, see, you got your first ghost follower. How old are you? At 12. You got many more to go. <laughs> And then there's hashtags. So when you start your post and you want it to be relevant, you're gonna post about things that are about you. So if you do things about sports, then you're gonna want hashtags that deal with basketball, one-on-one, and one, Nike, Stephen Curry, Ron James, like those are the ones you wanna use. But sometimes you wanna to wanna to use the stuff that's trending. When stuff is trending, everybody looks at it, right? So like when the NBA draft happens, everybody's Googling the NBA draft. You want to make sure that you use that hashtag. So Tags for Life is a free tool that will give you the trending topics, trending hashtags related to what you're talking about. Or you say you want to be a director. So Shonda Rhimes is a really big director. So you're going to want to talk to her. She even has free, or not free, but online classes that you can take right online about how to be a director. She just released them, I think in June. So you may want to look at that and talk to your parents about Shonda Rhimes, taking a Shonda Rhimes class. And you know, Shonda Rhimes, she did Grey's Anatomy. She did Scandal. Um, she did How to, how to Get Away with Murder. Um, and those are just a few. But she, it's not about her, you watching that, it's the fact that she's a producer and she's teaching how to produce. So you're not gonna watch those, class, those things, you're gonna learn how to edit, how to cut, how to write, how to write something with suspense. How to write something with suspense. Who? Who does? Okay. Shonda Rhimes, she's a producer. And she has free classes for that. I think, I want to say Oprah, so OWN is having the free classes. So there's a free class if you want to know how to be an actor. There's a free class if you want to know, I think, how to be a dancer. So it's a few of them that they're having. And then design. So the last thing I want to talk about is design stuff for you. So if you ever want to make your own graphics, your own flyers, your own posts, these are free tools that I gave you. So Canva is where you can learn how to design. So maybe you want to do something like, maybe you want to design your own birthday um, flyer or birthday card invite. You can do that on Canva to get started, just to get some practice, right? Because who doesn't love to design and draw? I do. I'm sure you do too. So those are free ones that I gave you. So Canva, PicMonkey, Adobe Smart, Spark, Word Swag, Prisma is if you ever want to make yourself into a cartoon. I, yeah. So you'll want to look at that. That's number 10. That's all the free stuff. Prisma is if you want to make yourself into a type cartoon. Ripple is if you want to make yourself into a video. Um, and Photo Grid is if you want to make yourself into a collage. And that's pretty much it. So the rest are just if you um, want to join like Twitter parties, but that's just you're not there yet. But that's pretty much it. So my thing is understand what you like, understand what you're good at, and know that you don't have to wait until you're in college or after college to start doing stuff. The sooner you start, the bigger you'll be and the happier you'll grow, and you can always change. So if you're like, hmm, I want to do dancing now, but what if I don't want to be dancing in like 10 years? That's OK. You can always change and grow with your brand. But it's so much easier to start now and to get those likes and to start collaborating with people. I know for me, I went to a bigger high school, 
and I went to a really big college, I wish that I had had my idea when I was in college and could have had all those people, 40,000 people, to like my stuff then. But I didn't think about it until four years after college. Four years. <laughs> Do I look 40? Okay. <laughs> all right, so if any, no one has any other questions, I'm done. But if anybody has a question, we can. You do? What's your question? <laughs> no? Yes? I do have one question. So, um, well, ask everybody. Huh? Ask for your circle. What's your question? <laughs> so, like, all of this stuff is free. Yes. Everything is free. Was it still? There we go. Now do it. <laughs>